What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. Today I'm going to show you how to find several early game weapons that will make the first 10 to 15 levels of a new character a whole lot easier. Now you may be wondering, why am I watching this in January? The game's been out for almost three months, why are you making this video? But I figure a lot of people are either starting a new character while waiting for the first DLC like I am, and plenty of my viewers are brand new to the game. They don't know about these locations, and so that's really the point of this video. This should also help you if you've watched one of my character build guide videos and want a certain type of weapon to match that character that makes total sense as well. The first of the early game weapons is the 44 pistol, which you'll find east of Sanctuary, kind of across that lake. I'm not sure if that's a lake or just some water, but you go up this hill and you'll see this rock area and this weird vacuum tube thing. You really don't have to worry about that. There's something at the bottom where you can open it and you'll find some caps there if you need some caps early. As you can see, the 44 is just laying on the ground with some 44 rounds right next to it. I'm not sure if you take Scround Drift, that's going to give you more at that point or not. There's also some Rad Away and some Rad X in there if you need it. Now we're looking at the location for our next two weapons. It's the Skylanes Flight 1981. It's a downed kind of airplane and it's due east of Sanctuary. It seems like a long ways away, but honestly, you're not gonna run into too much trouble, you know, around level five. You could probably come over here and get this pretty easily. And first is the combat shuck, and you're gonna find it in this duffel bag in the cargo hold area. And it might have some nice mods on it if you're lucky like I was. I found some nice mods on mine. And also you can find some shotgun shells in this ammo container back there. And then at the back of the cargo hold, you're actually going to find a hardened sniper rifle, which is really awesome if you're playing kind of an assassin based sniper character. It's nice because you can find this within the first, you know, five, five to 10 levels. You can go and get this and then you'll have, you know, your signature weapon until you get a better rifle later in the game. Just showing you guys the damage numbers here. If you're running a rifle based character, both the shotgun and that sniper rifle are going to give you some really good damage at a pretty low level. Moving on, the location for an early game laser gun, that's a pistol or a rifle, is actually near the same location that we are now. The Skylanes Flight 1981 is just a little bit west of it on this overpass. And what you're gonna find when you go up here are some gunners. Now, when I came up there, they were already dead. I did not kill them, they were dead. And sometimes that happens in the world of Fallout. However, you can come up here around level five to 10 and just kill these gunners and there will be a laser pistol on one of their bodies. And you can also loot the area. There's some nice you know, materials if you wanna get some early game materials for you know working on your settlement with the workshop mode but you're gonna find the gunners here as you can see mine's on the ground dead here he has a laser pistol and if you're running like a laser energy weapons build this is definitely a place you can come early to get that weapon the last early game weapon I have to share with you guys is a fat man and it's found at the robotics disposal ground which is just kind of north and east of sanctuary very early in the game you're gonna come in this area and then go towards the back of the fence kind of area past this sentry bot that you can actually activate. I'll show you guys that in a second. You could also grab a military grade circuit board from there. That's very useful if you want to make some things early in the game. And there is the fat man on the back of a trunk of one of these rusted cars. It's just right there waiting for you. And also you can find a mini nuke. Of course you need mini nukes to shoot from the fat man and a mini nuke is waiting for you in this location right near these tires. It might be stuck in those tires. You might have to hit it, you know, like run into it and have the mini nuke roll out. That's what I I needed to do anyways. But if you're having a tough time, maybe you just need a lot of caps because you can sell this fat man for quite a lot, then you can come here and grab this very, very early in the game. So since you're here, you can actually activate that sentry bot if you want to try and fight it. It's a level 30, so I definitely wouldn't advise doing it. I'm level 15, and you'll see that I just get killed by it even after shooting a fat man at it. But really, guys, the point of this video, again, was to show you where to find some early game weapons that'll get you a head start on a certain play style. I like getting a certain weapon if I'm playing a certain character, especially with my character builds early in the game that I can focus on and kind of adopt a certain play style. And so that's really the point of this video. And I'd like to know what are your early game go to items, you know, things that you find early on in the game that are going to help you throughout the first few levels. Obviously, I didn't show everything that you're going to find early in the game. I'd like to know some of the spots that you guys have, you know, that help you out maybe on harder difficulties like survival, you know, certain items that you can find in the world early in the game that will really help everyone out. Let me know, share all of that in the comments below. All right guys, today I showed you how to find several early game weapons in Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for more Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And if you learned something new, remember to hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more unique weapon guides, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time, peace.